The following program is made possible by generous gifts from partners of Benny Hinn Ministries and viewers like you in this area. And Jesus said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. A fascinating program today. You don't want to miss it. With me is a doctor who is absolutely brilliant, and believe me, you will enjoy this. This is Dr. Eric Braverman, who is a recipient of the American Medical Association's Physicians Recognition Award. He's, he's been on Larry King, David Letterman, and I am just taken by him. I'm telling you, Dr. Eric, I am so glad you are with me. You have written some amazing books, How to Reverse Heart Disease Naturally. I want to talk to you about that. You've also written Younger You, Unlock the Hidden Power of Your Brain to Look and Feel 15 Years Younger. I have a lot of questions for you. Reverse or Prevent Alzheimer's, Aging memory loss, weight gain, and more. Now, you just also told me, actually, the information I read here is actually old. There's much more than sure. we need to know about you, so, sure. so please. Well, I've been on a lot of different shows like O'Reilly in addition, but more importantly, I've published 120 research papers. I'm now working with the New York Hospital Department of Neurosurgery as a clinical assistant professor on integrative medicine. I've had appointments at various different hospitals and different uh, major departments in psychiatry, family practice, neurosurgery, and the like. The goal is that the brain, mind, and body are connected, what we call nephish. And so healing comes from knowing the brain, mind, body connection. So we can turn back the clock like Isaiah did for Hezekiah 15 years on virtually any disease in the human body. And more importantly, we can find any disease earlier. It says God looks upon the heart, so we look for silent disease in the heart, the brain, the body throughout. And what we want to fulfill is as much as we can, no more death nor sorrow, and that death would flee from us, and this corruptible flesh becomes uh, incorruptible. Listen, I'm going to have a great time with you. I know it, so we're going to do a few programs together. Make sure to tell your friends, don't miss it. He is a believer, he is Jewish, he knows the Messiah, and I love that. Now, your dad, by the way, his father was the commander of the Hatikva. Yes. That's a ship back in the, in the 40s when the British were trying to block uh, immigration to Israel. Your, your, your dad was involved then. Yes, I was what very proud to walk down the Fifth Avenue in the American Veterans of Israel Parade. He was the commander of Hatikva. He was eventually stopped by the British carrying dynamite as Jews got off the boat and went to Israel to fight in the 1948 war, and he was imprisoned in Cyprus. He sailed when the, uh, when the ships couldn't sail. There was such terrible it's storm. Amazing. People yeah. forget the British had an embargo, and every single Jewish person that could get to Israel for that battle needed to be there, and they won that battle it's wonderful. the birth of Israel. What a great family you come from, and what an incredible gift you are to the body of Christ. You were on with Pat Robertson. I'm so grateful you came to be with me. Let's begin talking. What is the most important organ in the body? I want to start okay. with that. We must come to recognize in medicine the brain controls the body as God controls the earth. Missing God in our society and medical training has resulted in us missing the brain. The brain is actually the most complicated organ of the body and more complicated than the entire body put together. The brain controls your weight, through your metabolism. Your brain controls your memory, attention, cognitive ability. Your brain controls your stability, your sleep cycle, your happiness. And by controlling the, those areas, it controls the health of other organs. So a little bit of heart disease, with a healthy brain, you live with it. With an unhealthy brain, you can die of that heart disease. Or you can end up in back surgery. Or you can end up with a tumor when your immune system drops because when the brain is right, it makes up for deficits in the rest of your health. So the key to living and dying is brain controlling the body's health. That is the most important organ. Yes, that, the brain, that will because remake. it really controls 
all of you. A healthy brain is a thin body. A healthy brain never gets dementia. A healthy brain is not too anxious and always sleeping well. Aware, intense, stable, happy. Well, and we control these chemicals through nutrients. And so there are nutrients that nutrients can build Nutrients can you know, help the brain. Nutrients, spices, diet, lifestyle, and conventional medicine combine for man-made healing, God-based healing, natural-based healing, and the brain can be healthier than ever before. And when it's healthy, the rest of the body goes with it. Now listen, I want to talk about this, and you'll be with me again tomorrow and day after. But let's, let's just go back now and begin with reversing heart disease. Yes. Because you have a book. It says, The Amazing Way to Reverse Heart Disease Naturally. Okay. And that's, from what I hear, is the number one killer right now in America, or, or is it cancer? It's one of the two. Uh, but ulti still. Ultimately, the brain imbalance makes those two number one and two. But the key thing is that we can find heart disease earlier than ever. There's a test called CT angiogram. Unfortunately, I've called it the, you know, the Russert test because everyone wonders how does a guy like Mr. Russert fall over dead and how do, uh, you know, marathon athletes. The one from athletes, CNBC, from yeah. CNBC. Right. How, because the stress test and the stress thallium miss heart disease. So the first thing you should know is that virtually all disease can be found through medical tests, whether it's stress, a CT angiogram, an echocardiogram, blood tests, an EKG, a halter monitor that measures arrhythmia. Then once you know even the littlest amount of heart disease, you can reverse it. So if it's calcium building up in the arteries, frequently that calcium comes from the bones, and so you have to stop the bones leaching calcium. Or if it's high cholesterol, cholesterol builds up because we lose testosterone and estrogen as we age. Cholesterol is the, is the precursor to hormones, so you have to adjust the hormone balance, and then you lower cholesterol. Everyone approaches these problems with a drug or pharmacopoeia. Can I ask you, what is the first thing a person should do? if they mm. think they have troubles with their heart, or if they have mm. parents who died with the same problem. They should have a good workup, which includes EKG, blood tests, halter monitors, echocardiograms, okay. CT angiograms. Once they know there's a problem, then what? Well, they'll use the book to adjust to each problem. So one problem could be high blood pressure. High blood pressure is diet and hardening of the arteries. Another problem could be a valve problem, which could be a weakness in the heart muscle, which requires certain hormones and even drug therapy. Another problem that people frequently have is arrhythmias, which could be potassium, magnesium. So whether it's arrhythmia, hardening of the arteries, valve disease, blood pressure, or actual coronary blockages, we have stopped virtually all bypass. We've stopped virtually all heart surgeries. We've stopped virtually all you know, drug use that's unnecessary. You've done that already? Yeah, over and over and over again. Over and over so and over again. you have stopped bypass surgery? I don't send anyone to bypass surgery. Uh, the reason why is that usually most people can develop what's called collaterals. They can work around the bypass. So it doesn't mean that I can stop it for everybody, but as a rule in my practice, which is tens of thousands of patients, no one ever goes for a bypass. They don't progress in heart disease if you catch it early. But you have to decide that in your brain and mind that you want God's healing and you want to use all aspects of what's available. When I say all aspects of what's available, I mean the leaves of the tree of life, which are the teas and spices and herbs and yeah, dietary chains. Yeah, so amazing. That you're able to use medicine if necessary, that if your brain is too worried or your mind is too worried and you're not sleeping, you understand that will kill your heart. He, he was, he was telling me yeah. earlier before sure. we taped about the power of spices. You know, people always use salt and pepper while they should be using cinnamon and all the cinnamon, other... Cinnamon, basil, common, rosemary. Yeah. I mean, the spices were carried by the priests and the table of America is going to change. In other words, we're not going to be the fast food nation. We're going to be the blessing and holy food Because they're nation. really finding out how, how, how mm -hmm. nutritional and how oh, important see. spices are. Let's, let's begin with blood pressure, if you don't mind, okay. because right, it, sure. you, you actually say here in your book a, a uh, 50 foods that raise blood pressure and 50 foods that lower it. A lot of, of people actually struggle with blood pressure. Sure. Okay, let's, let's talk about okay. the natural ways to lower right. blood First pressure. First thing with blood pressure patients, we know that frequently they're anxious. We need to get them calmer. We use a nutrient called Brain Calmer, inositol. We use nutrients like serotonin or tryptophan to help them sleep. 
then we go to, and we spread that out. So we cut the anxiety, cut the sleep problem, cut the unhappiness because hypertension begins frequently in unhappiness and tension. Then many individuals are eating incorrectly. Wait, say that again. This isn't hypertension really begins here with increase in anxiety, increase. So in it's sleep not all problems. about food. No, it's not all about food. It's a, you know, listen. Diseases are a a multifactorial problem. In other words, they're frequently our brain and mind are not correct. We're not, you know, we don't have the right spiritual or worldview. We are in trouble emotionally. We're in menopause where the estrogen levels are falling. Progesterone is the sleep hormone for women. Testosterone is the libido hormone for women and men. Uh, and many of people are going through a midlife crisis in which hypertension is just a symptom. Then, of course, they've lived on salt and pepper and burgers and junk food. And what they need is the 40 nutrients that are in cumin, that are 40 nutrients that are in rosemary, the 40 nutrients that you can 40 get. 40 nutrients. Yeah at, least, yeah, at least you can get 40 different nutrients and herbal power out of cumin and basil and rosemary. See, the concept is you want wow. mega nutrients to calories. You want the ratio of nutrients to calories. So if you take a look at bagel, cream cheese, and, and, and salty eggs and some, you know, sugary, uh, sugary drink like, Coke, you know, uh, cola Pepsi, type, whatever, yeah, yeah. whatever type of drink, and then you compare it to a hard-boiled egg with fennel, rosemary, and basil, you know, a cinnamon, two teaspoons of cinnamon with plain yogurt, with toasted wheat germ, and a tablespoon of, of choline memory powder, and, you, and then you add, instead of that Now, drink, that memory powder is yeah. something you... Yeah, we make this, supply. and other people make it, and then we have, and then you take an herbal tea breakfast with a little bit of green tea, a little bit of tangerine, and you have orange, and you throw in a little bit of of mint and all of a sudden you have like a tea punch it's like a rainbow too a rainbow of tea yeah all right which is the leaves of the tree of life and all of a sudden you have a breakfast that's nutrient rich you know thousands of nutrients that no one can you keep know it's up really with. interesting and calories are minimal a doctor told me uh, gary golden is his name from arizona you mm -hmm. may know him he said you need to eat foods of all colors yes and that's the key really yeah well, i mean that's isn't that the power you know, we know from the scripture, rainbow over the throne, and rainbow a symbol of peace, but lycopenes in the red stuff, chlorophylls in the green stuff, there's, there's just too many nutrients. Bioflavonoids are in the, you know, in the yellow and orange stuff, and so by, before you know it, everyone's going crazy saying, what do I need to take, what pill, what this, what vitamin, what supplement? So the basic rule is take in all of God's variety every day, but not just in fruits, but in vegetables. So it's not just broccoli every day, it's broccoli, cauliflower, squash, you know, orange things. You know, if you don't know the rainbow, it stands Roy Gabiv, we always memorize R-O-Y-G-B-I-V, Roy Gabiv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And so you just, you get all the different spices, you know, colored spices, cinnamon's brown and fennel is, is green, and so then you get turmeric, which is yellow, and then you gotta think the same you got, you got to think variety and color. I like him, don't you? Right. Oh, this is, I'm talking to my floor, floor director now about you because you are so fascinating. I love listening to you. I want to just continue about reversing heart disease. Now, it's mm -hmm. all this in your book, and yeah. you have so much more in these other books. It's just people are going to yeah. love all this. But let's, let's, let's talk about, uh, you know, reversing heart disease. Let's say someone has had a heart attack. Okay, mm -hmm. I've got a wonderful friend of mine who's had a, a, a serious heart attack you know, a heart problem, he almost died. Mm -hmm. So how does someone like him reverse all that? Okay. Well, the analysis of these tests, echocardiogram, CT angiogram, tells you how much damage is in his heart muscle, how much damage is inside the arteries around the heart, okay. how much damage is in the local circulation, and then the modifying factor, which we describe in the Younger You book, is how much other diseases does he have, brain, elsewhere. Most people who have heart disease, 50% of them, are gonna die of some other disease. So they're sitting there worried about their heart disease. I'm not saying they shouldn't, but you should realize that most people don't even die of their main illness. They die of some other hidden, silent wow. illness that catches them by surprise. So once we have an analysis of the whole body, so we scan the whole body, brain, mind, body, and we can rank all right, his heart has got a pump failure. All right, he needs more ACE inhibitors or natural. We can do natural ACE inhibitors from green tea to herbs. And then if they don't want to do a drug, so the heart pump can be enhanced. Let's say the blockages are in the arteries with calcifications. 
we can come up with a program to reduce hardening of the arteries. Let's say it's just blood pressure out of control and the person's not sleepy enough and they're too anxious or they got too much sodium and they don't understand that sodium is everywhere. All right, sodium's in canned foods of all types. Sodium's in virtually every restaurant is either too much sodium or too much fat. I don't care if you go to the best New York restaurant and spend $300 for dinner. Guess what they served you? Too much salt, too much fat. All right? That's why I like that scripture, you know, the salt, the fat's for the Lord, and, you know, the salt is for the spiritual side of us, not for our table. So the bottom line is we are just salted and fatted out. So the American table will transform to blessings before food rather than fast food, herbs and spices on the table, teas as the number one beverage, fish until you have gills, until you basically have you know, use healthy fish, not necessarily the shellfish, which are loaded with toxins and, yeah. and all sorts of PCBs. And then medical science comes in and diagnoses specifically your type of heart disease, described in both the Reversing Heart Disease book and Younger You, with the latest, greatest studies from EP studies, which are called electrophysiology studies of the heart, echocardiograms, transesophageal echoes, where we go down the person's throat and we find small little holes in the heart, to CT angiogram. There's no more wires in the heart in our practice. No one, ever, no one gets a wire up into the leg. And we have new 21st century technology, finds heart disease throughout the whole body. We can find cancer with whole body PET scans throughout the whole body. And so we're in the business of finding disease before it finds you. All right, we find it, and that's silent disease. Almost everyone's dying of silent disease. You have to reverse, and that's how you get a younger you. And you turn back 15 years, the clock, on any illness. And you covered all this in your...